Today we had a personnel recovery exercise they called the Valex to show all aspects of a personnel recovery uh, from initiation that there's been isolated personnel all the way through the first kind of the phase here of the reintegration at the facility at Camp Lemonnier. So I got to be the isolated person uh, and go through all aspects of signaling the rescue crew, uh, initial kind of capture, if you will, by the good guys, uh, medical treatment through the various levels of transport, increase in treatment, and then all the way back to here, making statements and uh, getting ready to get reintegrated. The biggest challenge we experience here is the sheer size of the uh, area of responsibility we have. So being able to execute these responsibilities as fast as possible is incredibly important. Every minute that goes by that we have a downed military member or an isolated DOD member or isolated civilian, anyone, uh, that's another minute that could potentially lead to them getting hurt, getting injured, get exacerbate existing injuries. So it's crucial that we do this as fast and as safely and efficiently as possible. Camp Hillmanier makes a significant impact uh, to the mission here in Africa. So for our role, we're just one small piece of that, that integrated total force with all the players, all the components uh, between the central location that we have, that in a regional impact, but also for the entire continent. There's not many other resources in the area, we're it. And so we're the team that has to come together to actually make it work. This exercise was fantastic because of its depth and its complexity. You know, we have a saying, train like you fight. And so this is what we were doing. And so this gives the chance to test all the different players. You know, this base here is truly a joint base. You have every, every aspect of the total force, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, Guard, Reserve, even some Coasties and a Space Force or two thrown in. And how do we work together? These are the type of things, these experiences here, how you iron out those seams so that when you have a real world mission, it goes much smoother. Of course, there's gonna be hiccups in these things. The more complex, less pause X's, you're gonna run into some challenges. How do you adapt? How do you overcome? How do you push through and make it actually work? It's a big component of learning. And so how you learn, doing it. And this is one of those near perfect type of exercises for that.